Okay, this session is going to be recorded, How to Promote Your Website. It's conducted each month by ICI World, and we now have some people in the session uh, to record along uh, with us. If there's any reason you do not want us to record the session, please let me know afterwards, and uh, we don't have to, but uh, I'll let you know that it is being recorded. Uh, we do appreciate and love questions all along the way. We have a small enough group that you can ask questions, so it should be okay. Now, uh, these, the seminar today, uh, first of all, we're going to explain why we're the ones that are sort of conducting this session. Um, we've actually attended some world search engine conventions where we spent $4,000 to go to the Las Vegas Hilton Convention Center and um, where they hold these world search engine conventions. And there was a thousand geeks and computer nerds in the room. There were two real estate fellows in the room, one from California and myself from Toronto. And uh, we just wanted to learn how to promote the website. And the reason I did it is because if I can learn how to promote the website and how to promote everybody's website, then I can actually help every single member that is on the service to promote the website. And that's what we do and that's what we learn. So we're like a personal marketing and information assistant to brokers and salespeople here. And learning how to promote your website is one of the integral important factors because you could have the best website in the world but if you don't have any traffic going to it or little traffic going to it, you will not make as much money as ones that do get more traffic, and you'll see that as we go on. And so we've been working with members all along the way, learning what works and what does not work. The session that I'm conducting today, <coughs> excuse me, is actually a full day session crammed into 90 minutes. Now, we can't do that. You can't cram a whole day session into 90 minutes. But what we can do is give you links. We can give you follow-up things that you can be doing to follow up to promote your website. And really, the bottom line is promoting your website because one lead will make you a lot of money. And so learning how to promote your website is the same as learning how to promote your own real estate business. Some people say do this farm area and work the homes in that farm area or specialize in this particular price range of property or type of property. All of these are little things you can do on your own time, and you build it. Promoting the website is one of those things, because ICI World really does not take any time at all, very little. Once you become a member and put the widgets on your website, and once you've added your listings, it's ICI World that works 24 hours a day working for you. What you have to do now is to get people to go to your website to see the listings. So really, your full effort shouldn't be sitting in front of a computer every day doing things. It should be out promoting your website in various ways, and we're going to be covering some of that today. Now, we do have a pledge. How do you measure whether all of this stuff works? And I think that's an important thing is that our, it, we have a commitment and a pledge that you should be generating leads every 90 days. Now, if you're not generating leads every 90 days, to me, that is like having a flat tire on a car. Well, when you have a flat tire on a car, you do not abandon the car. You call, you go to a mechanic, and you get it fixed. So if for any reason you're not generating leads every 90 days through this service, you definitely should give us a call, and we have a quick two to three minute consultation session which can analyze right away stuff and if we have a little bit longer time even five to seven minutes we can actually identify immediate things that you can be fixing in order to generate leads you know if you're looking for gold you have to sift through the pan of going through some dirt to get to the gold so yeah there's a little bit of things uh, some things essential things that should be put in place in order for you to make money using information tools We'll cover that as we go along. Once you do these things, everything will be working for you 24-7. You just have to continue to promote your website and get people to go to it. Hop in the car, go show property when somebody calls, and make $10,000 a pop to each person that needs your help. Now, why should you be promoting with a passion? Well, it's because of all the services that are on the Internet. It really is real estate that provides the highest return on investment of any service that is on the internet because one lead 
can and is making salespeople a lot of money. Anywhere from three to ten thousand dollars to fifty to a hundred thousand dollars and more. We've had two hundred thousand dollar commissions made here because of connections through the internet. It's very exciting. It does not matter where in the world you are located. Boy, I'm having trouble getting that point through. I don't care if you're in Florida, San Diego, in the Philippines, all over the world. ICI World has a way of having you be on the internet to trigger calls for your local market area. And as you go through here, hopefully we can sort of make that point. Now, uh, sending buyers to your website, you close on an appointment to show the property. And that's really our bottom line. Our bottom line is every three months you either do a deal, but at the very least be triggering leads to do deals. And so get excited about promoting your website, and we're going to show you how to get excited about it and what to say. <laughs> Here we go. Now, uh, we're going to be going through things like checking that your website is optimized with the proper keywords, and hopefully maybe one of you has a website today that we might be able to go into and actually optimize the website. So if we've created a website for you, one of the uh, P2 sites, uh, you can... Uh, just uh, get it ready if you can on the side and be logged into it. And we'll actually go and log into it and do the meta tags, the keywords, and those kinds of things to optimize the website. We'll start with that today with one of you. But you know, links to listings is the key. If you, I have people who have spent three hundred to a thousand dollars a month. Now, some people are making two hundred fifty to four hundred thousand dollars a year downtown Toronto marketing condos and they're getting people going to their websites in big time fashion but they're spending three hundred to a thousand dollars a month in search engine optimization and with search engine uh, people that kinda help them on a monthly basis now if you're making two hundred fifty to three hundred thousand and more a year you might not mind spending a thousand dollars a month which is twelve thousand dollars a year and when you think about it, when you put one ad in a newspaper to try to get a lead on one house, if you were to spend this kind of money and you're doing one or one, a deal a week, that kind of thing, uh, selling condos downtown Toronto, it can help you make a lot of money. The um, links to listings is the key. And I'm going to actually quickly show people that are listening to this for the first time. I'm going to go to ICIWorld.com, which what you'll notice we modified the name to be worldrealestatenetwork.com. Both will work. ICIWorld.com works, but it sort of tells people that we do industrial, commercial, and investment real estate. Eventually, you're going to see us be using worldrealestatenetwork.com to let people know that we do all real estate, residential, and commercial. But I'm going to click on four members. And we're going to go down to number two, which says widgets. Now widgets, you'll notice we have a picture of a spark plug here because it's just like a car. If you don't have spark plugs in a car or your spark plugs are not working, that car will not go. In the case of widgets for a website, um, they're just like spark plugs for a car. It can be the difference to make your website go or not go. And I'm going to click on sample widgets from ICI World that can be going onto your website. And I'll just use this particular website right here created, happened to be created by us, but it could be any website in the world. It doesn't matter. The thing that's going to make you the money are these widgets. They have to be set up for you. And if you have this residential exclusive widget performing this case for Ontario, we have them for New York State, Florida, California, all over the world, if somebody comes here and they happen to click on a listing, let's say Toronto, that they're interested in, up comes these widgets with listings in them. And if this one here, if somebody's interested in that, you are going to personally get a call that says, I'm on your website, I'm interested in message 309106, can you help me? And you should always say, yes, we can help you. We will have someone call you back then you can get a hold of the broker who's got that particular listing and say, I have a lead for you. Is a 25% referral fee okay with you? Now, the best one I know of is a, is a REMAX agent who has done 15 of those. That's a total of 75 minutes of his time, and he's actually made uh, $45,000, an average of $3,000 per um, referral because he's in a smaller community. 
So that's the kind of thing that you can trigger with widgets. I'm suggesting that every real estate practitioner have both commercial and investment listings on their website because if you're a residential salesperson, somebody comes to your website and let's say they click on commercial even though you happen to be residential, then what you do is, I'll answer your question maybe a little later, it's a good question, I'll come to that. I just noticed it. <laughs> um, we're going to go down to Ontario Commercial, and this is another sample of a widget created by Lorraine, who's also listening in today. Wonderful job, Lorraine, that you're doing here for people. And you'll see how she's put the widgets, the, the, the listings, all into these little categories here. And if people click on apartment buildings, bingo, look at all these beautiful apartment buildings pop, popping up. And if somebody comes down here and they're interested in maybe a little condo apartment which can be used for investment purposes that's why that's there you know anytime you have an income proposition this happens to be a home with a basement apartment but here's an Oshawa sixplex or something when people try to click on that they cannot do it they have to call you and that's what's triggering the leads you just simply do a referral to this particular person but if you want to sell it yourself make arrangements to go sell it yourself as well so by doing a referral, re real estate residential salespeople can do referrals on the commercial inventory that comes up here, these business opportunities as well. Somebody wants a retirement home, bingo, there they are right there. You could actually end up getting a call if this is on your website. So content is king. Content is king. If you've got content on your website, in a way, here's power of sales for instance, in a way that nobody can click on those numbers then they have no choice but they have to call you so that shows you an example how you can have power of sales on your website and somebody tries to click on that they cannot click on these message numbers they have to call you so that's the most important thing to learn going forward because there's all the other people in the business they say well I've got listings on my website but they don't have the listings in a way that people have to call you. That's the big deal. You know, it's challenging for me, for our company, to get out there and show people this. This is a broker-made service for brokers. And it's working fabulously because the very next person that sees one of these listings on your personal website, they have no choice. They have to call you because they cannot click on that number. Now, typically with other services, IDX links from boards and stuff like that, we all need them. We need those kinds of services as well. As a matter of fact, we install them on services, and you'll see residential searching commercial MLS listings. If somebody happens to see a listing here, and I'll just type in uh, Oakville just for the sake of argument here, what you're going to see are the addresses come up on properties. Now, if somebody sees an address on a property, is it possible that they might end up driving by this property first before calling you? And if they do drive by this property first before calling you, they're going to see the for sale sign on the front of the property from this particular property. And if they see the for sale sign of the other broker, they end up possibly calling that other broker possibly doing a deal with that other broker and it all started from your website and the funny part about the whole thing is is that the other broker doesn't even call you back to say thank you so that's one way that widgets can work doesn't mean that this widget absolutely triggers leads obviously if you have a customer that's working with you closely they're going to call you back with these message numbers and say I want to go see this message number and this one and this one and this one they'll call you back. But I'm talking about when you're getting new clients, new prospects, people that are searching Canada, immigrating to Canada, and there's, in Canada's case, there's over 300,000 uh, people emigrating to Canada each year. And in the case of the United States, there's over 3 million uh, coming in, I believe, to the United States each year. So you've got all of these immigrate people coming in, and um, it's a great way of triggering business locally and otherwise. And so once you're a member of ICI World, you're going to always send people to your own website to search for listings. 
So content is king. That's what you want to know. And you want to check your website regularly to make sure the widgets are working, make sure the links are working. Otherwise, you wonder why you're not getting calls. I often say within our 90-day checklist, you give us a call because I'm going to find such simple things to fix a lot of times that it's incredible. Once they're fixed, people, it's like a light switch turning on. All of a sudden, you start to get the odd lead calling in, interested in that, this, that, and the other things. The other thing you want to do is there's three things you do for your website if you have one. You want to um, look after your to-do list if you're using one of the ICI World websites. Uh, you must log in a minimum of once a month, and you must have some listings both on the website to generate more handshakes, more listings for your website. That's another important thing. And then you want to have at least 15 opportunities on ICI World because these opportunities on ICI World can be your inventory on the Internet that triggers leads every bit as important as as a regular real estate board type listing because a regular real estate board type listing can trigger a lead for you but so can information so if you have a property coming for sale and post it on ICI world you can trigger a lead get a client and go sell something every bit as a revenue producing as a regular real estate board type listing now regular real estate board type listings are great to do if you can get them signed that's the best way you go ahead and do it you've got control in the case of information, you don't have immediate control, but if you trigger a buyer, you get yourself an agreement in place first and then go show the property. Always use at least five photos on the property uh, when you add it to the websites. If you don't, other brokers may not approve you. People wonder, why am I not getting leads? You know, I don't care what business you're in. It takes a little bit of knowledge and chutzpah and uh, sort of... There's information techniques here that are working, which we're going to expand on over the next six months to a year on ICI World. That's going to try to make it clearer, the checklist of things that you can be doing to make sure they're working for you because it's not readily obvious. If you're driving a car and it runs out of gas, a car stalls. People, the measuring devices, if you're not getting leads from your website, that's like a car stalling. You do not abandon the car. You call somebody to fix it. ICI World is the number one place you can call to fix it. Uh, the website company that you have working for you, you call the website people there. That's another way to fix it, and I'm going to show you more ways today as well. Now, another thing you can do is by adding resources to your website. If you get your customers, when they first move to your area, chances are they do not know where the community centers are, where the churches, the places of worship, the synagogues, and the mosques, and all of these places, the police station, the community, um, um, all the community events that are going on, the centers, the schools, the hospitals. All of those should be resources on your website. And if you want to mark this down, we have a training videos um, private area. If you go to number 14, it's called resources. Number 14 in the training videos, write it down. And you can get a list of all the resources. You can put a mortgage calculator on there, how to calculate land transfer tax, uh, cost of buying a home. Things like that should be resources on your website to bring people back and to become a major center for knowledge of anything to do with buying and selling and moving into real estate. All the things to pack when you've got to move your office or move your home. Things like that can be very helpful. That should be on one page called a resources page. I've built it for everyone here, but a lot of people haven't got around to building and putting all the links in there. I'm recommending that you do that. And if you have trouble learning how to do that, you can always call your website people in the case of ICI World, and you can also call ICI World, and we can show you how to do that. Now, is there any questions so far? You can actually unmute your phone. Now, I'm going to ask Jenny. Uh, Jenny, can you mute your phone? Go to the green microphone up at the top and just mute it. And the same thing for Kit. Uh, just mute your phone. Good work. And Kit. I'm going to have you do the same thing. Mute your phone at the top. It's the green microphone under the red arrow. And uh, all the other people, just mute your phones. And uh, and then uh, you're going to be able to listen in. 
And the reason I'm having you all mute your own phones is because I trust you. And what I mean by trusting you is that when you want to ask a question, you can unmute the phone and ask a question. Instead of me blocking you out, which I can do, I can mute everybody here and not give you a chance to speak, I've opened everything up for every one of you. You can unmute the phone and you can ask a question anytime you wish. And I'll stop periodically to say any questions. One such time is right now. Any questions so far? Okay, let's move along. Um, without listings, we've covered that about why you should have commercial and residential listings, MLS and exclusive listings, and the concept that we have of actually hiding addresses that we know how to do on websites that 99% of the brokers out there are not doing. We're recommending, well actually probably less than that now because there are a lot of them are learning it, but if you can hide an address and, and get people to have to call you, you give them a general neighborhood and a, a general area, and you know you, you make it so that they have to call you. Now, if they've got their own agent, they can call their own agent and, uh, and get the information or try to figure it out. But doing it this way will trigger a call, trigger leads to you, and that's what our job is to try to do to help trigger leads. Here's an example of some of the widgets that most brokers do not have on their website that are absolutely inevitable to trigger leads once you have this working on your website. If you've got uh, let's say uh, residential exclusives on your website and you've got commercial listings on your website. If you've got gas stations, you've got all these kinds of properties, residential and commercial, then you have a better chance of triggering a lead. As a matter of fact, some people wonder why they're not getting any leads. All they've got is uh, just MLS on their website and that, of course, is good because it's a source of real estate, but again, it shows the address and it could end up going through to the listing broker who's getting the calls and you might wonder why you're not. Well, by also having these other links from ICI World where people cannot click on the message numbers, and this includes FISBO listings, this includes residential and commercial and businesses and all these kinds of things, you will, the very next person that goes to your website has no choice but to call you that is responsible for triggering, like I said, this one other gentleman who made $45,000 doing 15 referrals. So that's the kind of thing you'll put yourself in place for. I think it's going to be the next three years that people are learning how to do these things. This is all cutting edge technology that is just being rolled out to the industry and people are learning about it. Now, so those are the reasons on the screen why some brokers are not getting leads. The websites are not highlighting listings, they're almost hidden. Some people put the links on their website, but you can't even find them. And the links may not be framed on your website. In other words, you click on the link and it takes people away from your website. You don't want that to be happening. That's an issue. You know, all these things, you almost need to call us. And uh, it's like just going into a doctor's office. He's got to go through a checkup and go through all the basics to make sure things are working properly for you. So if you're not sure, the best thing to do is book a 30-minute consulting session with us. We're now training three more people in the Philippines to be able to do all kinds of work to help us. We got people in the office, but you need to book an appointment uh, to get us to check these things out. We can't have hundreds of people calling in at a certain time. And we've got so many people, less than 10 people, to be able to do this kind of stuff. So we're going to be covering traffic, and the handshakes are important. I come into some brokers' websites, and I find that there's 300 other brokers who have agreed to allow their listings to be on your website, and you haven't approved them. If you don't log into your website every 30 days and approve those handshakes, there's other brokers who have agreed to allow their listings to be on your website, and you have not approved them. Nobody will do it for you. ICI World does not do it, uh, the website people don't do it, you have to be the one that does it. If you don't know how, but you know how to move a mouse and you know how to turn on your computer, you are in business with us people. Just book a 30-minute session and we'll show you how to do it real easy. There's also a manual for the websites that we supply 
and we'll show you how to do it on other websites as well. Now, we have special training videos on ICI World. We have one called Domain Names. It's video number 17. If you want to talk and think about getting a domain name for your website, and you can have more than one domain name pointed to your website. And so you should listen to that domain name video number 17. I'll cover some of those issues here today as well. Now, if you want to review other items on promoting a website, we actually have how to promote your website. It's video number 15 in our training videos. And we also have how to promote your website in the blog. You can go to ICIWorld.com and you can review this later as well. And you're going to click on the blog. And there it is right there, how to promote your website. If you click on that, there it is there. And you can just click on the blog and bingo, it will go through it. Now what you want to do is learn how to make that video uh, bigger by clicking on the bottom right hand corner of the screen down here. And then you want to learn how to play the video right here. And you want to click on that to pause it. You can click on any place to play it. You can click on any place to pause it. So learning how to pause and play it is important because this video is 95 minutes and 36 seconds long, but it's a comprehensive one-day session crammed into 90 minutes that will give you resources that you can also check out on your own time. Let's continue on. So there's YouTube videos that you can play. Now, if you happen to listen to a video and it's on your iPhone or something, make sure that you are on wireless people. Otherwise, you're going to be using the bandwidth of your 3G plan or your LTE plan that you have with your company. So make sure you're on Wi-Fi if you're listening to these. And it's very comfortable to be just sitting down with your phone and listening to it on Wi-Fi as well. Now, um, you'll see how it says here, contact customer care on a point two manual. Let's see how fast I can get into it. Let's see if I can do that right now, getting into um, the website here. Yes, oh, let's click on reload here. Hang on. Um, let's get this going. Now, anybody that has one of these point two websites, um, we are official distributors, official educators, and we're a first line of support. You'll notice up here that there is a question mark, which I'm going to click on, and you notice there's a user manual. When you get into the user manual, there's a whole bunch of good things here that it's going to kind of help you with, and you'll see where it says here, getting started. When you click on getting started, there's a thing here that says market your website. There are powerful features that will not only drive customers to your website, but encourage them to stay longer. And what are these features? Here are some of them here. If you go down this page, you'll see that they've got tips and different things that you can learn how to market your website. Now, I'm going to click on market your website, and you're going to see that they have results that you can generate for your website by doing some of these things down here. I'm not going to go through that because it's all in writing right here. Remember I said before that I'm going to be giving you links that you can follow up on your own time. That's the biggest thing I can do is help you point you in the right direction. If you want help with this, every, you, remember you've paid as, in some cases as little as 240 to join our service. If you want extra things above and beyond this, that is available at the rate of $50 an hour. Or you can buy blocks of time for 10 hours at $40 an hour, and then we assign certain people to help you with certain things, whether it be social media, whether it be search engine optimization or something else. But our goal is to supply and show you everything free, to get you to be doing things free for yourself. But there are some people who say, Gary, forget it, just get it done for me, and I'm happy to pay for that block of time, and let's get her done. That is available to you as well. But you'll see here, you can be putting website addresses online, lawn signs, business cards, mail them. Excuse me. 
on mail-outs, on your business card, open houses, if you do courses and seminars on your vehicle, newspaper ads, you know, you spend a lot of money on a newspaper ad and you got people trying to sell one house, why not put a message at the bottom of the ad, one line, visit my website for thousands of exclusive and MLS listings, color photos and slideshow displays, residential and commercial put that all in each in your one ad for that one house somebody might go to your website and spot something else they like because you got thousands of listings there find something else they like and give you a call all because of that one ad so you can see how one ad can you know by putting promoting your website this way can trigger extra leads this is different from search engine optimization because there's really 40 to 50 to 100 different ways to promote your website and so including your website address and all advertising and communications, that's a lot of things that we've just never thought of as a licensed real estate salesperson. We're letting you know that you can and should be doing that. Now, partnering with other websites. You know, we've got some brokers that have mortgage brokers that they work with. Why not link the mortgage broker's website on your website if he will put a link on his website and link back to you. So if you're doing business and helping them make money, they can help you make money by linking back to you. That's reciprocal links that you can be doing with other services that are out there. So that's to show you to open up your mind what you can learn when you get into just the manual alone on the website. Let's continue on. Any questions so far? <clears throat> okay, people. Excellent. Let's carry on. Now, you're going to see that we have, and you can write this down, people, ICIWorld.com slash real estate resources. I'm going to give you a moment to write that down. ICIWorld.com real estate resources now I'm getting some of my lemon water here to drink and uh, that keeps me talking because my mouth does get dry after time speaking for so long if you've all got that marked down it's always available by listening to the video and we also have it in print as well but I'm going to click on that particular link, and you're going to see here something called Real Estate Resources. There's a complete PowerPoint presentation here on our service. Now, how about having reasons to work with a realtor on your website? Why work with a realtor? Could this help trigger a lead for you? In other words, why should people work with you? You know, when people immigrate to any country, the country where they're coming from probably did not have licensed real estate salespeople. It's the wild, wild west people in the rest of the world. Only the United States and Canada that I personally know have is such an official and wonderful body of people who have gotten together called the National Association of Real, real Estate with the term realtor. Uh, licensed to the Canadian Real Estate Association so that we can use that term as realtors which has codes of conduct, codes of ethics and that kind of thing. And this is really good for people to know. Why not put uh, a link to what you can do as a realtor and what realtor really means? That's the reason for having social media too to let people know that you're a member of your association, National Association of Realtors, Canadian Real Estate Association. You are a member of the local state or provincial association. You're a member of Ontario Real Estate Association, Toronto Real Estate Board, San Diego, Florida, Orange County. All of these boards, you should put links and, and um, insignias on your website, which you're entitled to do, to show people that you're accredited, you can be found, you've been in business for a while, if there's a problem, there's people they can complain to, so there's an element of trust. And building relationships is the bottom line still in our business, and trust and integrity are there. This gives you one step up on people that are not members 
of an association and you should be flaunting that throughout your website all the benefits of dealing with a realtor and there you are <clears throat> okay and so you can go through some of these links that we have here and I'm not going to go through them all but uh, because we do not have enough time it's already uh, part way through our session and we've got to get through the whole session today but I'm giving you the links of how you can do it and so that you have the resources to study it over the next year little by little you can learn these things social media is also important because if you have a sphere of influence let me just see if I can move right to social media here whereas I'm going way ahead Hang on, people. Do I not even have it here? Oh, yeah, there we go. I want to jump right to this because it's so important. You'll notice that Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, LinkedIn is absolutely essential for every licensed real estate salesperson. Some people don't have it still yet, but you should have. It's more like your business card on the Internet as a beginning for you. When people come to your country, to your area, to your city, to your community, Sometimes they know absolutely nothing about you or the community, and a lot of them are high-tech people. They're people that are well-versed in different things and successful in their own business, right? Because you need a certain amount of money and skills to kind of come into a country in the first place. And so they will be using LinkedIn. They can go on LinkedIn and search your name. They can find out who is this person, and then they find out, oh, He's a member, or she is a member of the Canadian Real Estate Association. Oh, Ontario. Oh, Tread. Oh, and you also belong to these community groups. Oh, and you're doing a fundraising event for this. What a good person. All of those things can be shared on Facebook. On Facebook, all of the people that you visit when you go to a wedding and you talk to people, and if you have Facebook and you're linked with them and they see you know, pictures of the kids when they graduated, you had a new baby, one of the kids or something in the family happening, they visit your Facebook site and then they see that you have a fan page or they see that you have a website, a real estate website, and some of them don't even know you're in real estate because when you go to a wedding, you're not promoting your business like crazy. Usually it's strictly family. Some people don't even know what you do. They could be acquaintances of friends of family. Well, if you can get them to your Facebook site and they see that you're in real estate and they visit your website and bingo, they see you've got buyers for for real estate on your website. They've never seen that before. You've got properties coming for sale before they even get on the real estate board. They're on your website. You've got exclusive listings that are not on, like on a real estate board. And you've got all the real estate IDX listings from Treb on your website with color photos, slideshow displays. That's wonderful. They never knew you were that well connected. You will be demonstrating how well connected you are when you have these extra thousands of listings that are not on real estate boards. So all of the social media can help you do that. If you're not using them, get them going. And I recommend that you go to ICIWorld.com to the main site. We will help you learn how to use these tools. You click on blog. And then on the right-hand side, you'll see the various social media icons that you should click on. You click on LinkedIn, and bingo, right away you can see that you can actually uh, click on Connect if it comes up. <laughs> I'm waiting for LinkedIn to come up here. Uh, hang on one second. Let me just close that and try it again, see if it works right away. It should work usually right away. There it is. And then you can kind of connect with us, and you'll see how it shows what I do, that I've been a realtor in the business for 42 years and membership chairman of a chapter and president of ICI World and doing different things. And then you'll also see that I'm also an AMP, that I, we do do financing, things like that. And you'll see that kind of stuff by going to that particular LinkedIn particular site and learning about ICI World. And you'll see how long we've been in the business so that we're credible and you know have integrity because you couldn't be in business as long if you didn't. Now, <clears throat> you'll also see Facebook and you'll also see our newspaper, which if you haven't subscribed to it, you do it. You'll see that there's a business things here. <clears throat> and you'll get ideas on how to promote your website because I'm showing you one, people. I'm showing you a way to promote your website. It's called paper.ly. There it is. You wonder. Sometimes people think I'm wasting their time. I am not wasting your time. I'm showing you a newspaper that can be 
I publish this newspaper every Friday. It has an article for licensed real estate brokers and salespeople. Look at all these articles. There should always be an article of interest to every real estate broker and salesperson in this particular newspaper. Well, you can develop your own newspaper as well. You can have it operating from your website as well. And eventually, and you're not going to have the same articles that I have because I cater to you. I'm building articles that are of interest to you. You're going to be getting articles to filter and, and populate the website with articles that will be good for your customers, buyers and sellers of real estate. And there are things that you can subscribe to. I'm not going into that today. I want to open up your mind that working with ICI World over the next year is going to help you do all of these things little by little. It's cutting edge services that it can help you do this stuff. And so the other social media icons, uh, there's values in all of these things for all of your customers as well. Connect with us people on all these things. Click on like, that'll get you connected and uh, it'll keep you in touch with the various things that are going on here, including how to promote your website. Now, because I jumped so far ahead, I'm going to go back. So pardon the screen flicking back, but I want to go back to where we were. And I've covered a lot of the items already. And we're going to start with the seven items. You should now mark this down. This is, again, a good solid part. I call it the meat of the session. And it's seven items to get your website to the top of the search engines. And the first one is called a domain name. In fact, you can write these items down on your pad of paper. And I'm going to give you a chance to write it down. These are the seven items to get your website to the top of search engines. Give it the, amongst the best chance. I'll take a moment and let you write them down. If you can answer finished, just type in finished in the... Uh, you can actually do a screen capture by clicking the camera icon, icon too. Hmm. I think if you hold shift print screen down, it's another way to do a screen capture. Shift print screen. Um, Jeff, I do it here. And then once it's in memory, I'm just going to try it. See if I did it. Open up Notepad. It's not coming in. Control V. Right click, paste. Maybe. Oh, looks like it didn't do it. Is it Shift Print Screen people to capture? Uh, a screen, somebody that knows. Anyways, I don't want to spend too much time on that. We'll get into that later. You'd have to, Gary, you'd have to use paint. You would have to use No, there's a, a, there's, a, there, there's a way to, maybe it's control print okay. screen. Um, there is a way to no, do it. No, it's control print. Okay. Let me try that, see if that did it. Oh, geez. Okay, I just forget which one it is. But anyways, there is something there. Okay, sorry about that, people. I can help you with that. I'll try to be prepared next time. Okay, so you've got that, but the slides are available in our in the video as any in any event. So let's we're going to go through these now one by one, showing you how to do that. And does anybody here have a website that I can log into? Anyone at all? Does did they have a website? Kit Jenny Data. Have I got a website going for any one of you? <laughs> Who's that? Data. Data. data? Okay, Data, yeah. what's your website address, please? Uh, data real estate GTA dot C A. D A T T A. Dot C A? A A is missing. D A. Oh. Right there like that? Yeah. Dot C A? Yeah. Okay, so this is a uh, website that we've just uh, worked with data on. 
Now I'm going to try to log into the website. Uh, hang on one second, people. Um, I hope you've used the same. Now I'm going to blank the screen here for a moment because I'm actually going to go get Data's record that is on ICI World, and I'm going to log into his website. I hope it's the same login name and password as we have on ICI World. Hang on one second. I'm just going to try it right here and I'm going to log into his website and we're going to do some me to tag keywording stuff here in a minute and I'm going to it get is, it is a, the passwords the passwords just a little bit different okay hang on one second well whether it's a little or a lot it's different now data what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the permission to um, put in hang on I'm going to give you I'm going to I want to allow keyboard and mouse control here for you See if I can do that here. Uh, okay, make presenter, make panelist, blah, blah, blah. Why can I not give it permission? Well, we have a problem data. Um, I can't get in here because I don't want, I don't have your password. And that's the problem. I try to recommend that every single member that receives a website get the same password as ICI World and, and so that I can log into well, it real easy. Not and um, do you know it, Lorraine? Do you know it, Lorraine? Hello, Lorraine. Yes, I know it. Okay, if you know it, what I'm, I'm going right to do here. is yes, I'm going to I'm going to make you an organizer. Okay. I don't know why I can't allow you to. It's it's a bummer here where I should be able to allow. It. Okay, so what I'm going to do? Well, maybe it's going to be under one of these other buttons here. Give keyboard and mouse controls. What I'm trying to do, people. And I'm clicking on every button here, and it doesn't seem to be doing it. Usually I can do it. Why not? I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you an organizer, Lorraine. Can you answer yes to that? Lorraine? Hello, Lorraine. And yeah, I, you just faded out, Gary. Okay, I've given you keyboard and mouse uh, control, Lorraine. Can you uh, type it in, please? I can't see anything. Oh, pardon it's me. Sorry. Out. There we go. I'm blanking it in now. <laughs> okay, you have keyboard and mouse control. Can you now see the screen? And I can't see anything. Okay, now it should... I can. Okay, there you go. Oh, Charles, you're aboard too. Okay, very good. Uh, hang on one second. I can't. You won't let me type, Gary. Oh, hold on. Let me try. Okay, we're getting her done. Okay, good work. So this is to also demonstrate how we can be working with people one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to now take over, and I'm just going to close the professional website. And we're now at Data's online office. And this is true basically for all real estate websites. It just doesn't have to be just this website. But I'm going to go up here to something special called Websites. And on every, and I'm going to go to the edit portion of it, and I'm going to go up to here to something called page settings. But before I do, I want to show you all the different pages that uh, that data has. He's got commercial pages. He's got all these different pages on his website, and I'm going to work with this home page that you see on the screen. This particular home page of data's. Now on this home page you'll see there's a button that says page settings. Now can you mute yourself out again because we're hearing a lot of uh, sort of water running through a tunnel up into the North Pole there, Lorraine, if you could mute your phone. And you'll see that it's Greater Toronto Area. It's called the page title. There's a page name, media description, and media keywords. This is the very beginning, the absolutely essential items that you want to change. Now we've got people that are joining in Timmins, in uh, New Liskard up north, and just people out west in British Columbia, and California, and New York. You want to make a page title pertinent to you. Now where do you do most of your work data? Data, can um, you? Mississauga, Toronto. Oh, okay, so if you do most of it, okay, now, you you know, Toronto is a city of three million people, two and a half, three million people. If you want to be doing something for that, it's going to be a, a, a similar strategy, but you want to get to the top of the search engines where you do most of your business first, 
then you can then you can search engine optimize individual pages within your website to make the website relevant so in this particular case I'm going to suggest that really it's the Mississauga area that maybe we should be having up here do you agree uh, yes Gary okay so I'm going to suggest that maybe we're, we can put in uh, hang on one second Let, let's just start it from the beginning I'm going to put here uh, Mississauga. Um, do you do Brampton a lot too? Yeah, Brampton, Milton. Brampton, Milton, Milton. and Milton. Greater. Let's do Greater Toronto area. Hang on. Toronto area. Homes, condos, and commercial real estate. That's a pretty big, long name. But does it not capture all the things that you do? I suggest it does. I suggest that you add it in here. I've just added it in. Look at that. And I've just added it in here. You did not have that in your name before. Do you see that? All of this yeah, information is now... Uh, Greater Toronto Real Estate, Homes, Condos, and Commercial Real Estate. We've actually got it all in there now. So all of this information, all of these words are in the page title, it's in the media description, and it's in the media keywords. One, two, three. You got it? Okay, we're going to go down, we're going to save that. And that should be done for every community in the world. But there's one more thing has to be done. You're going to notice it says, Welcome to Color Williams, your source for Mississauga real estate. So we're going to work on that next. Your source for, I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to put in all of that, and we're going to make it bold. There it is. So your source for Mississauga, Brampton, Milton, and Greater Toronto area homes, condos, and commercial real estate. <laughs> Isn't that more comprehensive? Now, when we were referring before, one second, I'm clicking on the wrong one here. When we were referring before to this, we're first of all, you don't have that all in your domain name. But we do have it in the title, the description, the keywords. Do you see all that? And we've also got it highlighted on the first sentence with the pay, on the page with a bold. And it's bolded. Do you see that uh, data? So we've got it highlighted on the first sentence on the page. You've got it in your meter keywords. You've got, you're starting to do all of this stuff now. Now, the domain name is something a little bit different. Let's go back to your website and let's first of all save this. If that's okay with you, Data, may I save it? Yeah. Okay. Right. Bingo. So we're saving it there. It's working away. You can see it turning around way up at the top here. You know, the 12 o'clock time period is a tricky time for being on the internet doing a a volume session like this because there's a hundred million people getting on to the internet right now on the west coast all up and down the USA and Canada and uh, because it's 9 a.m. there and they're all getting on their computers and it can actually slow the internet down for the next hour and it's trying to chug away I'm gonna let it work I'm gonna go back to our presentation and continue on and just let it work in the background. But those are the things that we want to do. The next thing is registering a domain name that will contain some of those cities and some of those terms so that if some, if Google the search engine goes out and wants to search Mississauga real estate, and that's still working there, I'll open another window so it doesn't bother it. And if I go here and I want to search Mississauga, real estate in the search engine 
you'll see all of these other websites that are coming up. Now, and you'll see the point two homes that we're working with coming up there. That's important because if you have a home listed, bingo, it's coming right up. The home will actually show in this other person's website. They can see your listing, and next thing you know, you're getting a call right away, all because we're optimizing all the point two sites and getting them to come up to the top. Now, these other ones are more pay-per-click coming up to the top here, and you'll see the pay-per-click. It's If you highlight this little button, why these ads, I'm going to click on that. These ads are based on your current search terms. These are ad, sitting, ad settings where people pay for these ads over here. And these are called the pay-per-click ads. And that's why Google's getting richer and richer and richer because they're making each one of you compete with each other to get to the top of these search engines. But if you click on one of these particular ads, up comes all of these uh, properties that you see here and you'll see all of their commercial listings, residential listings kind of come up on the page. And people will call on one of those listings and call you. So you want to consider also doing this pay-per-click. Now, how does pay-per-click work? They usually like a budget of, I think they like a budget of $300 a month, uh, Google does. But you can start with a budget of anything you want, $25, $50, $100, something like that. Try it for three months. Now, I have a question for each one of you. If you spend, let's say, $100 on pay-per-click advertising and you pay $1 a click and if that $1 a click somebody clicks on your particular website here and somebody ends up calling you and you end up selling a home and you make $15,000 was it worth it of course the answer is yes so by having a budget of $100, you have a chance for your website to come up to the top. This is free what you're seeing. In other words, if you have a budget with Google and you put in certain keywords for your website to come up and people search that and your website comes up here, this is free. This does not cost anything for your website to come up. It's not charged to your account until such time as somebody clicks on one of these. And when you click on one of these, that's when your budget per month, if it was $100, would be reduced by $1 so that now you only have $99 left for the month. If you set a monthly budget, I recommend you set a monthly budget because if you don't and there were a 1,000 clicks, your credit card could get charged a thousand dollars. Be careful people, make sure there is a limit of how much you spend when you do pay per click. Now I'm going to give everybody seventy five to a hundred dollars right now absolutely free with a piece of information knowledge. The information knowledge is that you can call Google AdWords and get a free starting sort of voucher coupon credit, call it a credit, to start advertising with Google. Ask them for $100. I see them advertising $75, but if you ask them for $100, I think they'll give you $100 absolutely free to advertise on Google. So there's a $100 coupon just from the knowledge of you being into this particular workshop. That's an actual $100 you'd have to spend otherwise to get some pay-per-click advertising. You can do it with Google. Now, if you're doing it with Google and you want to examine results and you want me to help you with it, I recommend you never spend money with Google without getting results. If you're not getting results, let me know as well because I'd like to talk to Google and I say, look at the person's website that we have uh, okay, so it looks like this didn't get saved here. Let me try it again. Okay, now that got saved. Very good, that's coming up. 
I will go back and show Google, I say, look it, we have set up residential listings on their website because when we go to Data's website and click on this, up comes listing on his website. This has this website, by the way, has to be fixed. It has to be, um, it hasn't been worked on yet, and it has to be. We have to put in the IDX number right there to get it working. Uh, because if the listing, if the membership expires, and if we click on these listings, what will happen is the listing numbers switch to being able to click on those message numbers. So people can click on those message numbers, which is not what you want. You want to have the paid membership, which does not allow people to click on these numbers. But data does have a paid membership, but we haven't put in the special code on here to make that work. And that will be working for you. So now when people come here and they see commercial listings, world commercial or Ontario commercial, whatever it might be, people can see these. It looks like under apartment buildings here that the links have been fixed. So we have found a major material defect on this website, and I'm actually glad that we found it because it shows that even doing a check on Data's website, which should be up and running 100%, is not 100%. And it was because of the residential exclusive button was not completely fixed yet. Okay, so those are kind of things the consulting sessions can help, letting you know that you have com residential and commercial listings on your website, which I would show Google as I look at the very next person that comes to this website and wants a business, if they click on business opportunities and they want a restaurant, they have to call data because they can't click on that message number. So these concepts, we're going to hold Google and test, put their feet to the fire to test them and say, we're spending one, two, three hundred bucks a month, and you tell us we're getting a lot of traffic, and I haven't had one call? No, 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 no. I don't buy that as a broker. I don't buy that as your friend in real estate, as supporting you with your website, uh, to make this stuff work with Google. So I want to hold them accountable. Now, coming up naturally in the search engines, uh, it's helpful if you do some of these things. Any questions on search engine optimization and pay-per-click so far, please? I'm opening it up. Mitzi, I'm going to open your phone up. And then also, uh, Charles, I'm opening your phone. But I need you both to mute your phones so that there's no noise in the background. Thank you, Mitzi. And Charles, can you please click on the green microphone under the red arrow? Thank you. And the reason we do that is we trust you to ask questions whenever you want. You can unmute your phone and ask a question whenever you want. If I muted your phone, you would not have that ability. But because I trust each and every one of you, you can unmute the phone and ask a question whenever you want. Pay-per-click people, I'm recommending everybody try themselves a test program with Google AdWords and try some advertising with Google because you all have an excellent chance to trigger leads better, in my opinion, than a lot of these other people here because these people don't have all of the maybe um, MLS listings. Maybe they don't have the exclusive listings. They don't have residential. They don't have exclusive. They don't have commercial. They're missing a lot of listings. By the way, I'm also going to do something else. I'm going to go to the Mississauga Real Estate Board website to show you how we are also trying to trigger leads from you. I'm going to refresh the screen a number of times. I'm up to five refreshes, six refreshes, seven refreshes, eight refreshes, nine refreshes, ten refreshes, eleven refreshes, twelve refreshes. 13 refreshes, 14 refreshes, 15 refreshes, 16 refreshes, 17, 18, 19, before they get to ICI World and we spent 3,000 bucks for that, a good sum of money anyways, to come there to be at the top of the Mississauga Real Estate Board website. Oh, anyways, if somebody sees that and they click on it, and they want to search for listings in uh, Mississauga, they just have to go to Ontario Residential. All they have to do is click on Mississauga, 
And if they do, and this happens to be one of your listings here someplace, one of you, bingo, they click on that number, and bingo, they can go down here, pick up the phone and call you, and you could be off doing a deal with somebody. So it's that fast once people search. Okay, let's move on. So we've covered all of these major search terms, and we've shown, and by the way, when you do pay-per-click, you can actually be to the top of the search engine literally within 48 hours. The next thing that Google also measures is the length of time that you have your domain name. If you have a domain name registered for 10 years and the other person has their domain name for one year, all else being equal, you have a little bit of an advantage to come up in the search engines with the spiders that crawl your website and bring your search engine to the top. So these are some of the other items you can do. When you first register a domain name, is the best time to register it for 10 years because it's the cheapest. You can get it literally for $99 for 10 years if you buy a domain name for 10 years in the beginning. Otherwise, it's as much as $12 to $17 per year for the next 10 years. Any questions on meta tags, keywords, getting to the top of the search engine based on these items? No questions? I shall move on. Okay, uh, segment five, uh, we do have videos, more than one video, literally five videos on how to promote your website. They're found in the training videos section on ICI World. Everyone knows how to do that. If you don't, ask me and I'll show you. We've shown you also how to promote your website from point two. And the nice thing about search engine optimization from Google is they will show you how to have a, a page called Google Analytics and how you can actually go in and they'll give you webmaster guidelines and how Google crawls and indexes and serves the web and how you can have a little better understanding. This is where you should spend your time over the next year if you are so inclined to do so. And they will teach you how to become more knowledgeable about promoting your website. And if you're spending money with them, they love to help you. So that's Google. Let's continue on. Um, why, what are ways to receive your website, uh, to promote your website? Uh, we've already talked about having listings on your website. If you don't have these 14,000 listings, you have no calls, no, uh, no reasons for people to call you. It gives you reasons for doing referrals. And of course, driving traffic to your website is important. Now we're going to talk about domain names. One of the things that search engines do with their spiders and crawlers is to go out and they search those seven items that I showed you early, earlier. One of them was domain name. So if you have the word Mississauga and real estate in your domain name and somebody searches Mississauga real estate, bingo, that's one of the seven things that it will do an algorithm on. Algorithms are mathematical calculations to search engines that don't think but calculate things based on math mathematics. And it will calculate that you have a better chance of having properties on your website if you have the word Mississauga and real estate in your domain name. It's almost common sense. And when I went to the search engine people and took in the World Search uh, Convention, that's what they say, just make your website relevant. Talk about Mississauga real estate on your front page. And by doing that, it makes your website relevant. And that's all Google wants to do, is to bring up a relevant website when people do a search. They'll go into the meta tags and keywords to see if you've done some thinking on that. And if you've got Mississauga Real Estate in a domain name and in your meta tag, in your keyword, on your title page, and on the first sentence on your page, chances are there's something to do with Mississauga Real Estate on your website. And that makes the search successful. That makes Google look good. They've done their job by delivering that customer to you. So you can be delivering people based on those keywords by tying all that in on your website. You can have more than one domain name for your website. You just point them all to your website. They can all be pointing to your website. We do have a little video on choosing a domain name, it's number 15 in the training videos. You can, you can do that there. 
If you want to look up domain names, you can look up who is. You can go into your own website and actually work on domain names. You can do that there as well. As a matter of fact, if I was to go back to Data's website and I went back to Office, you'll notice that you can go right up to domains right up here at the top. You can purchase domain names, manage domain names, and you can set your own default domain. When we go to manage domains, we often recommend GoDaddy. There's many other services out there, but it seems to be used by almost 400 of our members are using GoDaddy. Um, just they got 24-hour service, and it seems to work, and you can go in and manage your account, and it's fairly straightforward to do. If you have trouble, you can ask any of our assistants, and Lorraine is online now. She can also help with some of these things. The majority of things that we're doing um, on our service are there to help you included in our service, but there are items that there is a limit to how much we do help you, keeping in mind that all our people are being paid and certain things are included in your membership. Other things are not, and they will tell you what's included and what is not, and there's a great deal that's included. The number one thing we try to do is to teach all of you to do this yourself. That way it's absolutely free, but if someone needs extra attention and they're willing and want to pay for it to get it, then we do make that available as well. And you'll see Data has his domain name right there, and it's pointed to his site. Some people don't even have domain names assigned to their site. This gets it assigned. So if you have many more domain names, then you can do it. Data does not have the word Mississauga in his domain name. He has GTA. But if you were to search GTA real estate on the Internet, there's a lot of good competition out there. But it is possible to be up at the top of the search engine literally within 48 hours. But do people really search from Burlington to Oshawa, the GTA, when they're looking for a home? I don't think so. I think they're more looking for general specific cities or even areas within a city. So that you could even take a search term as simple as the distillery district, simple as Meadowvale in Mississauga, because somebody might search Meadowvale in Mississauga, and even though there's not many results, there might only be one or two hundred results come up. Bingo, if your site is one of them, even though there were not many results, you happen to hit a little gold mine where the people that are searching for real estate in Mississauga are finding you and bingo, you're doing deals, even though it is less results on a search engine, but being specific by your community. Every one of you has communities that you can be putting in search engines for this stuff. Okay, now when you want to manage a domain name, you click on that there and manage domains and you're going to see that the instructions will come up here momentarily on how you can actually, sorry, um, point domain name I meant to click on, point domain name, if you have uh, a, a GoDaddy account you would actually point the name to point two, ns1.point2.com, ns2, don't worry if you don't know how to do it, all our people here know how to do it and we can help you, then you put your domain name in here and bingo, that will start working on your website. You can get new domain names working here very nicely, very easily. Any questions? All right, let's move on. Um, people don't realize how important handing out your business card is. It's really important. If you're leaving a restaurant and you don't hand your business card out to that restaurant owner, Shame on you, you just missed the chance to generate business for yourself. Every restaurant owner knows people. You tell him that you've got over 200 restaurants on your website. If you're ever thinking of buying or selling a restaurant, go to my website. If you're ever thinking of buying a home, I've got homes with color photos, slideshow displays. In other words, you must tell them what is on your website. If you just say, I have a website, visit it, not enough. It's not good enough. Even Best Buy, Future Shop, big companies, they say we have a sale on student computers or our laptop computers for students and they've given you specials and they tell you what, what is in their store, what is in 
uh, their warehouse. That's the same thing you must do. You must tell people what's in your website. That's what brings people to it. And so if you start handing out your card, telling people what's on your website, exclusive listings that are not on the Toronto Real Estate Board, you've got residential and commercial, you tell them all of these different things. You've got services that, oh, if you're looking to, you know, maybe find all the events going on this weekend, go to my website. I've got a list of them. Those kinds of things you're going to use for your website and make it. And I would go and walk down the main street and go into every business on your main street, down Bloor Street, and knock on the, walk into each business and give your business card out to those owners of those businesses because they all own homes. They all live someplace. They all can do real estate with you if you go and do that. So it's the content that is on your website that you want to sell. We have people from New York State joining here, and they says, I got so many leads before, I want to upgrade it even more uh, to generate leads in New York State. All over the world, you can be generating leads from the links from ICI World. We have now covered the meta tags, and I'm starting to wind down and start to get ready to close this meeting. And we're winding down doing a quick review. Meta tags and keywords, we've covered that. Um, the pay-per-click, we have covered that. You can set a budget uh, for these things, but you should be getting calls. And if you just rely on them, say, well, we generated X amount of traffic. Yeah, well, how come I didn't get any calls? Well, you can call us. We'll look at your website and see if you should be getting calls because why should you spend one penny without getting results? And I'm saying that we got to hold Google and other search engines accountable uh, by you getting the actual call. That's how I measure things. Are you getting calls? The Google search tool is here, the bottom line, Google AdWords. Um, you can, you know, uh, click on all of these things. There's a special search tool that helps you determine what are the keywords. Again, this is a full day seminar crammed into 90 minutes, people. You can't expect to go through everything all at once. And if people complain, I'm going to stop doing it. But I want to give you, open up your minds that you can be doing these things. Everybody I talk to says, Gary, why don't you do a full day session, charge 100 bucks and do it. Every, I haven't met one person yet that said they wouldn't pay 100 bucks and go do it. I just haven't got around to doing it, but maybe one of these days we will. Websites are like billboards. Yes, you can have more than one website. If you're introducing a product into the city of Toronto, is it better? To have five billboards or one billboard, yes, you can have more than one billboard. You can optimize each website for different keywords and search terms, and you can link the websites together. You should also be promoting your website in every email that you send out in the signature file. Make sure you have the, e the website address when you send out emails so people can go visit you. You can do fax multicast and uh, email multicast and all these things. Make sure you have your email or your website address there. Your local city, believe it or not, is connected to embassies around the world. And so if you list your website absolutely free, they're trying to help and promote businesses in every community. You can go to your local economic development office and they got a list of real estate people on their website. You can actually have your website listed there and when people are moving in from other countries, they might be searching from the embassy who gives them that stuff and they can search a realtor in the area, and sometimes it can happen by just listing your website with an economic development agency. One deal, bingo, can make you 15 grand. These are things, you know, that we haven't done in the past that are working, absolutely working. We had one deal, a member presented it to the, it was selling a piece of land for the city, and actually um, the um, economic development website had the property listed in ICI World had the property was they got the lead through ICI World and when they presented it to the city council to get approved the mayor got up and asked the person how did you get this sale and they said it was from ICI World and it wasn't even through their local economic development website through ICI World so it shows you the connections that can be done but working with these economic agencies and putting the link to the economic agency in your ads is important to help sell your location to the world. When you think about it, the three most important words are being missed by 90% of the brokers on the internet, location, 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 by linking to local economic development office, 
helps to sell the location in your individual ads, you should be putting a link to the top 10 reasons why to locate in Mississauga. Those same top 10 regions should be on the front page of your website. And if you need to know how to do it, I know you know how to book a 30-minute appointment with ICI World, and we will help you do it. Let's move on. Yeah, you can do all of these things here. Continue on here. Joining groups, magnetic signs. We've already covered social media, why it's so important. Radio ads, yep, developing press kits, absolutely. If you're up to it, go for it. Uh, studying the keywords, there's many ways to do it. Don't try to trick the search engines or it can backfire. They can actually get blackballed by doing that. Finding keyword suggestions tools, that'll come with Google AdWords. You can link to mortgage brokers' websites and other people's websites and link them back to yours. Reputable sites are good. ICI World helps. We're at the top of the search engine. It's going to help you, etc. Reciprocal links to all of these different kinds of things are important. We've talked about this. Let's move on. <clears throat> There is a 22-minute uh, video on domain names. You can see that later anytime. Bad designs. Actually, most of you all have good designs. I'm going to skip that and move along. Um, that was from a <clears throat> reporter who used to do that a long time ago. Um, our pledge, no member should go longer than 90 days without doing business. Otherwise, give us a call. We're going to check your membership for material defects, traffic to your website, all that good stuff. And... If you're stuck longer than five or eight minutes trying to do anything with your executive membership, time is money. Just give us a call. Book an appointment. There's your $100 uh, reminder. Just go ahead. When you're doing some work with Google, uh, you can mention ICI World. And if you're clicking on Google AdWords, uh, on just type that in. That will give you the telephone numbers to call. And uh, you can do work with Google. A survey um, afterwards, there will be a slight little small survey, which if you don't mind uh, answering, we really would appreciate it. And uh, we like getting your feedback. If you can send us an email, if you don't get the survey, send the survey to customer service at iciworld.com. So I'm asking each and every one of you, uh, if you can just take uh, two minutes out of your uh, schedule just to fill in, did you appreciate this particular session? What did you get out of it, especially if you can even name one thing that you really got out of this today and any suggestions you have for anything, we really would appreciate that. And whether or not we can use your comments would be helpful uh, as well. Let us know of your successes. We'd like to be the first one to congratulate you when you collect a check. We love to hear about it. Now at this time, I'm actually going to sign off. That completes our session for today. I'm going to actually stop the recording.